So I recently did stand-up comedy, and Darren is always ragging on me, giving me a hard time. Okay. This is what I like to call the chesticle floss. Okay, let's stop oh. this right now. Let's stop. Come back no, to the studio. No, no, no. We're done. We're done. Oh, We're done. No, We're done. More. no more. So I thought I would come to the queen of mean, Miss Lisa Lampanelli, and get some advice on how to stick it to you, Darren. For me, I'm just starting out doing stand-up. It's like huge for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, starting out, like, how do you know this is it? I'm doing stand-up. Everything else is behind me. Oh, dude, I totally, the first time I ever did stand-up, I called in sick the next day. That's how you know. So I did it. I killed. I don't know what it was, like, meant to be. And I just called in sick. I was like, suck it. I'm not coming in tomorrow. and copy <laughs> any of your little freaking manuals, okay? I'm too above it. I'm a star. How dare you? I find that I like to do a little bit of uh, physical comedy. I've been trying mm -hmm. that and experimenting with that. And uh, for me, like, I like to do, like, a little bit of this. And, I, oh, and they, the they showed that on uh, on one of our MTV shows and like pretty much embarrass me in front of everybody. Aren't so they sweet? Do you recommend physical comedy? Does if it comes naturally to you, do it. I personally, as physical, I ran out into the audience the other night because I'd go into the audience and I was so out of breath after running up one aisle. I'm like, physical comedy is not for me. Physical movement is not for me. I want to be crippled so somebody can wheel me around all the time. Like I'm the only one to be like, oh my God, thank you. I'm paralyzed from the neck down. So it's like touching your crotch area okay? I, I scratched it last night on stage. I don't see anything wrong with that. Put it this way, I make a living and a very good one out of saying the C word and the N word. So personally, I'm the wrong one to ask if you should be dirty or not. So you just be you and you go, you know what? If this is really me, I'm gonna bring it out there. At my work, this is the most insane thing. They've deemed me a racist. Is it a good thing for me to keep going with that? Well, the fact is, at least you're getting talked about. At least, you know, it's a it's a it's like a nice moniker for you to have. I only make fun of people that I really love. So I really make fun of gays, Hispanics, blacks, Asians, people like that. I leave out the French because I freaking hate them and who doesn't? So I make fun of Canadians because I like them. You understand? So only make fun of the people you love or else you're going to be a Michael Richards and everyone will hate you. <laughs> on MTV Live, which is a show I work on, I have this little piss ant twerp of a co-host. He's always running me through the ringer. What's a good like punchline I can get in there to like really get this guy? Okay, now is he gay? You hit him with a good time cruise line. You hit him with something about suck I'm telling you, he'll be so flustered. He will cry all the way to the bank and pull his little pearls and put his feather bow on and just weep. Darren, if you're watching or listening, this is Lisa Lampanelli, the queen of mean. Stop being mean to Sheena. Be nice to her, because I saw your tape of you doing comedy when you're 16. So I am. <laughs> you are to comedy what pantyhose are to fing so please, leave poor little Sheena alone and come out of the closet. People would love that.